Hello and welcome back to Shimplay Sim Airport and today we are going to be looking at the ticketing area because um, in previous episodes we have been working on security because security could not keep up. We've added this extra large gate and added five flights. We've increased the walkway underground so they can get from the main terminal building to this kind of satellite building. Um, but the problem is ticketing cannot keep up. It's just um, too small for the need. Now, first of all, I'm thinking this security down here is kind of wasting space. So I want to kind of condense this down. This is like our first class um, security area for first class passengers. I want to kind of condense this so there'll be more space up here and then we can have some more ticketing desks up here. Underground, off camera, I've increased the foundations for the baggage flow and I'm going to sort this out as well and hopefully just have a more streamlined approach to baggaging uh, baggaging to the baggaging system um, and also let's look at government grants I think when I was just when I was off camera yeah this final one had um, completed which is great okay let's have a look what we need to do here I think this one we just need to now get 600 passengers at once, which is completely fine because we are already having that amount of passengers through our system already. Okay, I'm going to first of all add in a, a utility, a bag sort baggage hub, and this hub here will collect from the oops, uh, the ticketing desk and I'm going to connect it straight to the input of this baggage depot over here. Um, well, sorry, not to this baggage depot, to this baggage hub to this depot. And then um, I'm going to hopefully put in a link from here ac across to a second depot for this gate over here um, but that's gonna have to go underground because of this green pipe which is a bit frustrating but these things happen then I'm going to move this baggage hub down here and have the um, the output of one going down here to output the hub um, the bags into um, four new baggage claims. That's the ideal. And then once I've sorted all that, I should be able to then fit in more desks at the top here. So, whilst we wait, let's just, um, let's see, yeah, in fact, in fact, let's see if we can sort this out. Let's, let's, um, actually, sorry. Let's sort out security first because we can't actually put any ticketing areas in here until security has been sorted out because at the moment it's taking way too much space. I'm going to dismantle all of these, dismantle all of those, and all of this here. Okay, that's sorted at the bottom. Um, I'm going to... I kind of what what I need to have happen here is is all of the inputs going straight to here, and yeah, is that on the same line? It is perfect. So what I can do is go to my utilities, go to my two-way bag, and then just build it straight across, and this will just go straight to here. That'll be nice, and then. Maybe we can just build this straight across here. We can change this to a hub to hub. Put that there. And then this can connect to um, here. And then the output of this can be taken down here. But eventually I will want to move this down here. Uh, but for now that's not important. For now I'm just going to leave it like that until I'm ready to connect the last four. But this one is more important because I want to get some space up here, uh, space down here, sorry, so I can fit in some more ticketing desks um, up here. Okay, that looks good so far, so let's just leave that for now. Okay, security, let's move the security, let's get the bag scanners. 
and let's put them down here. Can I just put them all in a row? Because I would, uh, I tried to squeeze them in before. Yeah, why can't I put them here? Oh, that wasn't meant to happen. Um, okay, let's cancel that one and that one. I'm just going to put that one there, and that one there. And then just stagger them just so we can fit all in. There we go. Speed that up. Start to dismantle these. You can just move over. Then we can start to dismantle... What are they doing? Oh, there we go. Start to dismantle these. And they just automatically walk to their new uh, places, which is, which is great. Okay, we need to get two ID check stands. Um, let's put them down here. And again, I'm going to have to make sure as soon as they build these, I attach it to this cube because I don't want people walking over thinking they can use this check stand if they're not first class passengers. So that's not how it works. Okay, there we go. Dismantle that. Let's add a new queue. There we go. I think that's fine. We don't need it any longer than that. Uh, we're going to assign that to this here, which is going to be first class and flight crew only. Assign this one. And then we are going to dis um, remove the previous queue. There we go. And now I can remove, uh, dismantle this wall. We can put down some flooring. Now I've been keeping the security flooring as red and that way it just kind of makes it stick out a bit more but as this will now become ticketing again I'll, well, I will want to put um, my blue tiles down. Okay, speed up the queue a little bit and the time. Perfect, this is working really well. Okay, so now we've got plenty of space up here for more ticketing areas. So first of all, I'm going to put some... Um, I want to leave this area, area free, so I do think we need to put another escalator going up here. So maybe... Maybe I'll leave this space clear up here. But down here, I can just do the same as this, but on the other side, I think. Or maybe just the same. Should I use the clone tool again? How do I use the clone tool? like that and put that there yeah um, it's a bit worried I don't know why yeah that'll be fine won't it okay yeah we'll, we'll do that but we won't put it in the ticketing area until it's complete Let's see also if I can dismantle these two plants and get some escalators up. Because I think that will also be quite useful. Okay, escalators down. Come on, plant three. I want you to move. Yeah, that's that's fine. We can do that. It just means more people can get upstairs to security. And again, we will want to have some escalators or stairs going down, but we need to remodel that area first. Okay. Nice. 
And what we'll do actually, I know what we'll do. Let's remove security from this row here. Let's add in my, f um, the, where's the floor? Let's add these um, steps in again. Is it this one here? Nope, I think it's a darker blue, this one here. Yep. Let's put that there. And we'll move the first class queue over here for the ticketing. And we'll have these two here for first class. So they can kind of like, they can walk over here, check in here, and then they just walk straight into security. We don't want our first class people, uh, customers, to uh, you know feel like it's a big hassle for them. They want to just go straight in, check in, go through security, and straight through. That is what, that's the price you pay. That is what you get for having a first class ticket. Okay, it's assigned it to this one here. Again, just first class only. And that one there as well. Perfect. So now, we can walk straight in, into here, drop the bags off and go through. Obviously not yet because we need to get this ticketing done, but we can't do that until we fix this here. I'm going to have to wait until night time for that to happen. So for now, this will have to do. I probably also want to split up the queues as well and have one queue for this section up here, one queue for this section down here, and one queue for this section over here. But for now, in fact, does this... Can I sign it to that queue? I can. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I can't. I can't. That's too far away. Can I sign that to... That going to sign to that queue? That's really strange, isn't it? But not to this one. Where this one looks closer to me. Oh, it's because it's the other way round. I see. Okay. Well, we'll leave it like that for now. We'll sort it out later. Okay, let's go underground. Maybe I can, I can actually do this now. It's a bit risky, but... Yeah, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to dismantle these two. No, I'm not. Oh, apparently I am. <laughs> I just needed to dismantle this one. And um, utilities, two-way, I want to put that there. Okay, what I quite find funny in this game is... It still think it's connected despite the fact it clearly isn't connected. Right, that's urgent please. Please build it quickly. There we go, see it's actually working despite the fact it shouldn't be. Okay, that's nice, that works. Let's dismantle this here. Um, let's make these as all consumers. And that one as well, just for good measure. Let's go and get to utilities. We're going to put that there in a moment. And that one there in a moment as well. Yeah, that will work. Okay, we're going to let's put that there. We're going to dismantle that part and that part and we're going to put that there we can this is urgent probably should be doing it this at, at night time but oh well urgent or high uh, utilities conveyor belts Put that there. Uh, dismantle that. Conveyor belt. Okay, put that there. Okay, it's working. It's working. Right, now we can dismantle that and that and that and that. Nice. 
Okay, so now this whole area here is now clear. So I have, I think I said at the start, I built all this foundation off camera just so there was time for me to actually do all of this work because otherwise I'll just be sitting waiting for this to work, uh, for it to be completed. Okay. Conveyor belt to here. Then that will be connected up. Let's get five more staff. Oops, there we go. And now this is ready to be used for ticketing. So let's get our zone. And let's just expand that to here. Perfect. Right, our staff should arrive, and there we go. People are now starting to arrive. Let's sort out these queues. So, we need to have a better queue system. We are going to have one queue for here. It's going to snake round. Like so. Uh, 15, that's fine. We're then going to have one queue here. Snake around here for this section. Uh, and then we're going to have a queue. Hmm, where can I put this queue? For these three, essentially. We're going to snake it around here. Yep, that would do. How do I... Oh, need to remove. Okay. That's going to be assigned to here, which is for coach only. Same with this one. And... Assigned to here. Okay, got three assigned to here. Perfect. This one's going to be assigned to this one, which is going to be coach only. Same with this desk, and this desk, and this desk, and finally that desk. So you queue up here to over here. And finally, the last one's assigned to here, which is coach only. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's let's go back to the queues and visualize all queues. I didn't know I could do this until just now. Perfect. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, and two. I think I need some more ticketing machines or kiosks, as I should call them. Um, we'll put them. Let's put them back to back. And let's put a row down here as well. And maybe... Where could we else could we put them? There's a few up here. Any more I could squeeze in? Mm, no. I think that'll be fine. Okay, it's speed up time. It is now 6.30 in the evening. And hopefully these changes will mean tomorrow we will not have lots of problems. So today, oh look, today actually, apart from the first one, we missed one person for some strange reason. Today has actually been fine. Which is really positive to see. We've got our big flights in. We've got a few gaps that we could probably f um, add some, uh, schedule in some flights. But overall... I'm quite happy with uh, the ticketing area. The baggage system underneath is a lot more efficient, I think. We need to get a second um, and third, sorry, not second, third, third and fourth carriage uh, carousel for the baggage claim area, but that's not a huge problem. Security is fine. Ticketing is fine now. And it's all looking good. Let's have a look at the government grants. There we go. We've got that final um, one here. So all of these are now completed. 
We need to get... We really need to get this done. This is... This should be done ages ago, really. Why is... Oh! I had no idea that there was extra ones down here. What's this one saying? Okay. Have an airport that's at least 15 days old. We are day 56. That's definitely fine. Pay off any loans. We've done that. Wait nine days. Hmm. Why is the return between 150 and 500? That is suspicious. And this last one here. It's a bit of a risk, isn't it? Hmm. We'll leave those for now. Um, we've done all of that. That was easy money. Um, advertising. Ah, oh, you know what? We need to get some advertising. Um, okay, let's get some advertising in our airport. Where, what, what is it called? Objects. Would it be under... S mm. Retail? Oh. I know what they are. I've seen them before and I've used them in... A, I have used them before. Digital ad display. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to put it somewhere where there's going to be a lot of passengers walking through. I.e as soon as you walk out of baggage claim. So here. One here, one here. As you walk through, you're going to see adverts. Uh, and also upstairs, we're going to put one right next to the entrance to the security system. So as soon as you walk through, you're going to see some adverts. And as you walk out, you're also going to see adverts. And those are going to earn so much money. Now the problem is it affects the environmental impact. It makes the environment not pleasant because who likes to see adverts? But you know, we all need to see adverts because that's how products get... Um, where did I put the other one? Over here. That's how products get sold. That's how companies make money. It is required. Okay, see. Yeah, look, see. 800 people have walked past this today. 700 have walked past this one. Going upstairs. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> so, so, yeah, look. Thousands of people have walked past this one and this one. Okay. We have got a problem in security. So, ticketing has now been fixed. As you can see, people are not all bunching up at ticketing. But people are not getting through security Let's add a few more ID check stands. How many do we have in stock? Eight. So we don't even... It's not even like we haven't spent money putting these in. This side seems to be fine. Let's speed this up a bit. Where are our workmen? Come on, bring it over the last... These two, please. Okay, there we go. This one will maybe finish first. Okay, assigned to this. And I forgot which side. I think it's this side. So one, two, three, four, and five. Yep, yeah, it's those sides. Perfect. Assigned to. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Have I just noticed something? Why is this queue? This is not first class. These are... I hope there's no first class people queuing in here. Because this is meant to be coach only. First class have their own special queue down at the bottom. Here. This is for... F f um, look, see, look. Uh, no, that's the janitor. Yeah, look, first class passenger. You, know, you can use this your your own special queue. You do not need to go upstairs at all. So don't go upstairs. It's fine. Well, as everyone else, we need some more staff, don't we? Two more. Everyone else can queue up with this very long queue, and um, yeah, 
have to wait through security. Okay, this has already been seen by 4,000 people, which is fantastic. This one, again, nearly 2,000 people. There we go, that's sorted out the queue. Okay, security is now keeping up. We've got five ID check stands, five metal detectors, five baggages for each half. So ten of each. I am happy with that. It doesn't look like people are bunching up too much to get to uh, through the scanners. And it all seems to be working fine. Okay, let's check everywhere else. The arcade is getting busy. Probably should in increase that area, to be fair. Got lots of people waiting to come down the stairs. But do we have people waiting to come upstairs? That's more important. No, I think I think everyone can get upstairs fine. I think it's just because there were literally hundreds of passengers offloading at the same time, and it's just then it's clogging up all the staircases. So I don't think it's a major issue. All right. Well, I think that is a successful end of the video. We have increased capacity for our ticketing area. We've moved uh, the baggage uh, system and the security and fixed this part of security. And everything is running like clockwork. Let's have a look at the... Oh, apart from this one, depart departure one minute late. So because of that one minute, we're not going to get our perfect bonus for the day, which is a bit frustrating. But overall... Let's look at yesterday's one. Yesterday was fine. Again, this departure de departed two minutes late with one missing passenger. So I don't know what's going on with that f that one with that first flight, but never mind. It's looking well. Let's just have a quick look at perfect operations. Oh, we did get one on fifty-two. Day fifty-two was perfect. But ideally, I want to get this more often because we have not had many days at all okay we're gonna leave it there this airport is it's becoming quite quite big I'm really really enjoying this um, building this whole airport earn um, one minute we should be finishing the um, yeah let's just wait just a few more minutes We'll get this to midnight and hopefully this will be completed. Let's have a look at this one. This one has seen four and a half thousand today. Seven thousand. Five thousand and another five thousand. So this one should earn us the most money. But we will see. Uh, maybe this is probably where I should schedule in my um, the work, you know, the staff scheduling and getting these people going to go home during the night. But and you know what? I don't need to. I've got plenty of income. I've got a million and a half in the bank. I don't need to. Oh, there you go. It's done. How much did this earn yesterday? <laughs> Just that one managed to earn enough for the whole. Perfect. 5,000, 5,000. Perfect. Okay, we're going to stop it there. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider clicking subscribe. Have a good day. See you next time.